Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stores, Connecticut. We're at the Harry Gamble Pavilion, the home of the Connecticut Huskies. Opening tip, what can you tell us about these kids? Well, this is a team that can withstand some bad shooting nights because they're such a good offensive rebounding team. And along with that good execution, it's always a key to get second chance opportunities. And at times this year, they've got some great backward play, too. Well, they're trying to put the clamps on this guy, but they can't. And he makes them pay time after time. What a great offensive effort. Down low with the ball. Four passes outside. With the jump shot. One, no four, no points. I really like the way this team is rebounding early in this ball game. They have really set the tone that they are going to play tough for 40 minutes. Five, blocked. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets have possession now. And Jay, these guys can really jack it up from outside. Big time three-point shooters, Mike. You've really got to press up on them and make them the ball on the floor. And you have to be cognizant of finding them in transition. That's the first of two. And he goes a perfect two for two at the line. Kicks it back. They're inside. One takes it back out. One botches the layup. Twelve lays it in. Number twelve. Three with the inbound pass. The ball inside now. Mike, this is one of those times where you make a poor shot selection and you wish you could get the ball back and do it all over again. One gets the bucket and the foul. It was a great shot, and he can add one more from the line. He completes the three-point play. The Huskies have the ball and are one back. With the ball up top. 33 for the three. 33 hit the back of the rim on that one. The Yellow Jackets have the ball. They're up by one. 12 draws a lot of contact. He'll have a chance to get two at the line. Makes his first shot at the line. No problem at the line. He drops both free throws. Three point spread on the scoreboard. Releases. That's an excellent pump fake to get his man in there and create enough space so he can fire off that jump shot. Well, he certainly faked him out of something on that one. Yeah, and then he read really nice form on his jump shot. Here we go, Huskies, here we go. Here we go, Huskies, here we go. 55 triggers it in. The Yellow Jackets have the ball. They're up by one. Goes inside. Three is fouled hard on the way up. He'll get two shots at the line. He gets them both. Let's go. 
The Huskies down by three with the ball. He takes the three. 31, three-pointer off target. Three-point spread on the scoreboard. Four with it out top. 55 out on top. 21 with the board. That's playing up a notch for this guy. Nice defensive stance. 33, couldn't get it to go after the hack, but draws the foul, a chance for two from the free throw strike. He makes his first shot at the line. And he misses the second free throw. The Jackets bring it up court with a two-point lead. Gives it back. Three from behind the arc. Three just threw up a three, and that's not the strength of his game. Three with the inbound. Rips it away. Great awareness early on in this ballgame, Mike. That steal really sends a message. Four. That's perfect with the switch. Four. Snags the offensive board. Four is hacked and will go to the line for a couple. Thirty-one will come out of the game because of foul trouble. He hits the first free throw. No problem at the line. He drops both free throws. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. Five Here we go, has the ball Huskies. up top. Here we go. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. Here we go. Puts up the J. Five can't drop the tough look. Three point spread on the scoreboard. Kicks it back. Three up top with the ball. One misses from the wing. Good play there. The defender stepped up to make that play, but in general, you can't expect a guy that's that outmatched to consistently take away open looks from a great shooter like this. For two points. Oh, let's cue up the replay on this one. That kid has great court vision. What a pass. Nice anticipation there. Practice pays off. It certainly does, and it paid off there because they got the ball to the right man in the right position, and he hit the sweet jumper. That's a clean, nice play. Passes back. Go. 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 55 Go. has it up top. Go. One draws a lot of contact. You'll have a chance to get two at the line. Substitution. 21 will leave the floor. He gets the first of two. And 
Andy succeeds at the strike two for two. The Huskies down by three with the ball. Three with an up top. Takes the jumper. 11. Misses. That one was short. Three point spread on the scoreboard. Four. Scores the basket and a free throw coming. With the extra point at the line, he completes a three point play. Bricks that jumper. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets with the ball. They're up six points. Passes it back. Three with the ball up top. He goes up. Boy, that was a nice move on that crossover. He really got great separation from the defender to get up that jump shot. Jay, they've been guarding him beautifully tonight, most of the game, but all great players find a way to get over. Well, he got the defense off balance with that crossover move, and that's what freed himself up, and he drained it. 11, throws it in. The Huskies are down by eight with the ball. Thirty-three with the ball up top. Five hits that one off the front iron. The differential is eight. Three up top. Four out on top. It's picked off. Well, the defense saw that one coming the whole way. When you throw a skip pass, you have got to keep it on the line. That was just a lollipop lob, and it was easy to pick off. When you throw a cross-court pass, throw it on. Three gets his sixth point this half. He has been a scoring machine all night tonight. One overshot that one and missed. The Huskies are trailing by six and have the ball. Delivers back. It's dropped in low. 33. Can't bank it in. Such a great defender. As you can see, he's got the mindset to stop people. In close. 33. Misses the shot. Bangs off the back of the rim. Shoots inside. Good shot with the jumper there. Can't Number set one. it up much better than that. No, that's a beautiful assist right there, Mike. That's the way you draw it up on the chalkboard. Twenty-two inbounds the ball. The differential is eight. Five up top with the ball. Shoots it. 22 and the open shot. Number 22. Mike, this is one of those times where you make a poor shot selection and you wish you could get the ball back and do it all over again. 11 catches the ball very high and then muscles it down. 55 with the inbound. Four point game we've got right now. 
They pass it inside. Three blows the lay-in. The Huskies take the ball up, down four points right now. Thirty-three rejected on that one. The Jackets with the ball. The lead is four. Puts it up. Fifty-five fires, but can't connect inside. Three up top with the ball. For two, big shot right there over the defense. And like, let's take a look at this quick release. Got the perfect stroke for it against the defense, too. Yeah, the defense was all over him on that one. That was a contested shot. He just knocked it down. 55, throws the ball inbounds. Two-point differential between these clubs. One with a nice spin move and in for two. Connecticut Huskies. Jay, they're down a little bit as we move through the first half. Analyze their play so far. Mike, they're down early in this ballgame because they're not knocking their free throws down. They're getting to the line, but they've got to take advantage of those opportunities. Otherwise, this lead could balloon, and all of a sudden, they're facing a much bigger deficit. Good basket there, Jay. And it seems these two teams are very evenly matched. They are evenly matched. They match up well with each other, and they're both sticking with their game plans. This is anybody's ballgame right now. Feeds it back. They're running the court. Shoots. What a pretty assist that was. And he's really racking up those assists right now. He's got a great awareness of where his teammates are on the floor. He's got eyes in the back of his head. With the touch shot. 22 from 7 feet. No good. Knocks it down again, and this is a kid we've heard a lot about lately. Great individual effort, Mike. This kid is putting his team on his back right now and really taking on a big scoring load. Throws it back. One has it up top. He shoots. Three gets the rebound. He now has five on the game. The Connecticut Huskies are in a great position to tie it up here. Let's see if they can make this possession work. Two-point differential between these clubs. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. Here we go, Huskies. Kicks it back. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. One with it out top. Three, missed it just off the left. The Huskies have possession, two down. Nice rebound, and he made sure he controlled the miss. Mike, it looks like a simple rebound, but look how big these boards have added up for these guys. The more rebounds you get, the more points you put on the scoreboard. That's outstanding work on the glass. That's a great setup and a clean finish. Let's see that one again. That was well done. And that pass had eyes to set it up. Yeah, the feed really created the opportunity for that shot. Twenty-two triggers it in. Four-point game we've got right now. Five up top with the ball. Takes the shot. Three gets his sixth rebound of the night. Most of the time you don't have to worry about this kid scoring on you. The defense has the mismatch wicked in their favor. Number 22 is unstoppable inside and slams it home. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets bring it up court with a two-point lead. One is called for charging on the court. That's his first foul of the game. Three entering the game for the first time. Thirty-three with it up top. The ball goes inside. Thirteen shoots it off the front of the rim. Two-point.
point differential between these clubs. A close ball game in the first half, and that is a huge defensive rebound. Three. Three pointer. Three. Doesn't get the three. The Connecticut Huskies have a big opportunity here and can tie it up. This team has really done a nice job rebounding on both ends. They're not only getting position, but they're pursuing the ball relentlessly. That's what they need to do to try to control the momentum of this game. Keep grabbing the big rebounds. Another basket, and we're seeing the backcourt just dominate this game, Jay. I think this team's guards have really gotten the advantage in this ballgame, Mike. You're going to have to really press out on these guys because they're knocking their shots down right now. Well, he gets the contested shot, but he doesn't disturb his shot. The great concentration. Let's take another look. Right there, that's what I mean, Mike. Now, that's one heck of a play. A lot of poise on that shot. Jay, you're absolutely right. He's got a great stroke, too. 55. Throws it in. Two-point differential between these clubs. 44. Didn't throw that one down and misses the alley-oop. The Huskies have possession to the offensive foul. 33 is called for charging. That will be his second foul of the contest. Thirty-three hasn't had a good game yet. He's going to sit down for a while. Fifty-five picks up after the miss. That kid willed his way to that stop. A great play. Working it in. He is really playing tough, and he's the reason they're right there in this game. This kid is a leader on the floor. Someone who can inspire his teammates and make them better and pull everyone together. 32. Lays it in. That was a big score. Now they're right back into this game, just where they wanted to be right now. And they put some game pressure on their opponents. They can't play with a lead anymore. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets were ahead midway in the first half, and now they have a slight edge as we wind down on the clock. Jay, what's your opinion of their play so far? Well, this team has played very well overall. I think one thing they can improve upon is getting better contribution from their bench players. That's something they'll talk about as they get to halftime, but they need to continue to play well in order to keep this game close. The Yellow Jackets bring it up court with a two-point lead. 32 pulls down the defensive rebound. Two-point differential between these clubs. Thirteen has the ball up top. Takes the shot. Boy, simple and beautiful right there. That's a great feed. And Jay, look at the assist. He really passed it perfectly, and the shooter took great advantage of it, being ready to shoot as the ball arrived. Fifty-five passes it in, throws it back. It's an even ball game right now. Here's the three. Another score, and just look at Number the way one. these talented kids are matching up tonight. It's been a compelling matchup, Mike. They're going right at each other, and you've got pretty even production out there from these top two guys. They're going to have to pick it up defensively against each other. This is a great matchup. And it might last all night long, too. 13 with the ball up top. He shoots. 20 has the runner go up and come back out. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets with the ball and a three-point advantage. Number two. two. Showing some power with that big jam. The Connecticut Huskies are back five on the scoreboard. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Gives it back. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Shoots it. 
22. Misses. He just shot that one short. It's a five-point game. Two. Shows he's paying Number attention two. with a sweet alley-oop. Great hands. back thirty two with the ball up top he goes up thirteen can't stop the run the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets have the ball and it's a seven point lead two hits the right side and comes out the Connecticut Huskies have the ball down by seven 55, heads to the bench. <laughs> 44, with the inbound pass. It's a five-point game. Three with the ball up top. Returns the ball. Six left on the shot clock. They'll have to get one off in a hurry. Puts it up. Twelve misses from ten. The Connecticut Huskies are back five on the scoreboard. They drop it inside. Three can't hit from the high post. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets take it up court. They're up by five. Three with it up top. On the shot clock puts it up three puts it in from 12. number three got that shot off without too much trouble and jay that really seems to be the story of the night it has mike they've been taking advantage of lax defensive possessions all night long if you turn your head they're finding the open man that's the way you pass the ball there's the buzzer the score for the first half 41 to 34. the two top performers from the first half. 21 looks fresh coming back out. Four puts the ball in play. The Jackets have a nice lead here to start the second half, Jay. They were leading in the first half as well, of course. What's their recipe for success tonight? Well, Mike, you know at halftime this coach was talking to his team about getting better production off his bench. Those subs have to be ready to play when they step to the scorer's table Number and three. get into the ball game. In the first half, they faced a huge disadvantage with their bench points. The bench has got to perform. Thirty-one up top. Throws it up. Mike, that was a nice slick move to free himself up for that open jump shot. Perfect execution on the crossover move. Yeah, Mike, that was just a beautiful play. He did what he needed to do to get the shot off. Seven points between these clubs. Inside. Three. Doesn't get that one to go. And Jay, he's missed more shots than we're used to seeing. Boy, he has. But you can't fault his shooting form. His team is playing well as a unit right now. And they have the lead. And that's all you really care about. But you worry about your star player staying in the ball game and not forcing it. Might get a W on an off night. Three. Steals it. And that's his first takeaway of the game. Jay, that's just making it way too easy for these guys. I don't see a lot of pressure on defense. What can they do? If they pick up their defense, they can build upon this lead. It's Number no one. big surprise if you give open shots, they're knocking them down. Go, 
The Huskies are back five on the scoreboard. Passes it back. 31. No luck on that shot. Tough look there. It's a five-point game. Kicks it back. The ball passed in deep. One sinks his 20th point of this game. Wow, Mike, this team is really performing well as a unit, and they're knocking their shots down. They've clearly got the advantage, and they're dominating. If they continue to hit shots, they're going to be tough to beat. Trying to get it going inside. Mike, this kid is just a force down on the low block. Look at him take the defense apart with that brutal back down. The Yellow Jackets have the ball, and it's a seven-point lead. One has it up top. Three hits the front iron and comes out. The Huskies and the ball down by seven. 31 is fouled hard on the way up. He'll get two shots at the line. He makes his first shot at the line. It's a five-point game. Here comes the fast break. One out on top. It goes in deep. Takes the shot. Let's check out this play. This is Number textbook. One. Nice anticipation there. Practice pays off. It certainly does, and it paid off there because they got the ball to the right man in the right position, and he hit the sweet jumper. That's a clean, nice play. Thirty-one for the three. Thirty-one. 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 Puts the ball in play. The Jackets with the ball. The lead is four. Three with the rebound. He's increased his total to eight. Four-point game we've got right now. 31. Misses the three this time, but you don't want to give him too many good looks out there. For the deuce. 31, off target from the wing. Oh, that's a great defensive rebound, Mike. That's the way you go up and secure possession by grabbing it with both hands and pulling it down. Nobody was taking the ball away from him on that one. Five with the ball up top. Unloads. 31 with the jumper. No good. Not an easy shot there, Mike. He's going against one of the best defenders on the floor. Three, missed it from the top of the key. For two points. Very alert to find the opening. How many assists is that? That's six for him now, Mike. And he's finding the open man. And credit to his teammates because when they get his passes right in the shooting alley, they're knocking down those shots and racking up the assists for him. Does, does any coach like seeing that happen? That's a quick way to end a possession, end your career. Thirty-one with it out top. In low now. The Jackets decide to call a timeout. Four throws the ball inbounds. The Jackets bring up the ball in a tie game here tonight. They pass it inside. 21 kicks it out. The Huskies have the ball and they have momentum. 15 of the last 21 points. 33 with a miss. It's not enough. Twelve has the ball up top. 
He puts it up. Four doesn't get the bucket, and the drought continues. The Connecticut Huskies have the ball, and they have momentum. 15 of the last points are close. Man, that was not an easy shot, and somehow they've been successful playing this way since the game started. Yeah, Mike, the defense has been playing tough, but when the other team keeps hitting tough shots like that, you've got to stay focused and not be brought down mentally by the other team doing something spectacular. And if you're defense, you just hope it doesn't last much longer. both free throws 22 inbounds the ball the Huskies looking now to take the lead to score tied as they bring it up takes it away they've got a fast break here we go let's look at the replay on this one Jay it looked like he can sense the defender closing in. Almost looked like he wanted to create the contact and get the ref's attention. Maybe a three-point chance. Not a bad plan either. And either way, it was great and a strong play for the layup. Two-point differential between these clubs. Three up top with the ball. Passes back. They get it down low. For two. Four gets the sweet bank. Number four. That's probably not the guy you want taking a shot that difficult. But score that one. They'll take the two points. Inside shot, 22, now has 10 points in the game. Another difficult basket, and it's this defense that's doing it. They've made every possession hard tonight. Well, they haven't been able to get the open looks they want. I think they've got to get more ball movement, better passing and better movement. It's not just bad luck that's affecting them here tonight. 31 will sit down to avoid further foul trouble. Succeeds at the strike two for two. Here we go. The Huskies take the ball up, go. down four points right now. Here we go. 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 Five up top with the ball. Clock down to six. 33 off the mark from the elbow. The Yellow Jackets with the ball. The lead is four. 55 is hacked and will go to the line for a couple. He gets the first of two. And he's off on the second. It's a five-point game. Now this is a replay everybody wants to see, except for the opposing team and the guy who got shook. That is really choice, really faked out the defender. Completely left him hanging out to dry. That was just an awesome move. Defense. 55 with the inbound, gives it back. The Yellow Jackets with the ball and a three-point advantage.
Three ball. Three. Breaks a three. You don't want him taking that shot. Number four. Drops it in. The Huskies are back five on the scoreboard. Thirty-three with the ball up top, pushing it in. Passes back. Seven seconds to get the shot off. Thirty-three hits with the jump shot. Oh, what an assist, Mike! Looking for the open man, and they've been doing it all night. I can't emphasize enough how important good passing is. And if they can stick to their game plan as they've done so far, this is going to be a tough team to beat down the stretch. The Yellow Jackets track it down and get control. He is really playing tough, and he's the reason they're right there in this game. This kid is a leader on the floor, someone who can inspire his teammates and make them better and pull everyone together. Three-point spread on the scoreboard. Got to love that anticipation on defense. Excellent steal in a close ball game. That could be the difference in the second half. The Huskies down by three with the ball. For two. Two gets the rebound. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets with the ball and a three-point advantage. They threaded underneath. Three-point spread on the scoreboard. Mike, that was a poorly run play by the offense. They telegraphed the pass inside. You just have to make a simple little pass fake. And then one dribble, you'll be able to get it in. Delivers back. Well, I don't think this coach has a whole lot of lineup flexibility going down the stretch in this ballgame. His bench has been outperformed. He may have to go with the starters for the remainder of the game. The Connecticut Huskies down by three with the ball. Here we go, Huskies. Here we go. Here we go. Releases. Three had too much mustard on that one. The Yellow Jackets with the ball and a three-point advantage. Down low with the ball. One. Couldn't get it to go after the hack, but draws the foul. A chance for two from the free throw strike. Three comes off the floor for now. And he's off on the second. Four-point game we've got right now. Defensive foul. One gets called for the reach. That will be his second foul of the contest. Twenty-two with the inbound pass. Twenty-two hits back iron and out. The Jackets with the ball. The lead is four. One botches the layup. Thirty-one has two three-pointers. Could get a third on this trip. It's denied. Nice work getting that rebound. And Jay, that's one thing they've done very well tonight, controlling the glass. Mike, it's been relentless pursuit of the basketball on the boards. That's just hard work, and it's put them in a position to limit their opponents to one shot, and they're getting high percentage second chance opportunities on their offensive end. Can't get the first. He blows both shots at the line. 
This team has really done a nice job rebounding on both ends. They're not only getting position, but they're pursuing the ball relentlessly. That's what they need to do to try to control the momentum of this game. Keep grabbing big rebounds. Shot clock is at six. They have to put it up. Fires. 22. Missed from the corner. Four-point game we've got right now. One up top. Tosses it up. 21. Calls down his 11th rebound. It's passed inside. 32. Will back it out instead. 33. Jams down the lob. Five, throws it in. Kicks it back. Rebound. The Yellow Jackets bring it up court with a two-point lead. Twelve, draws a lot of contact. He'll have a chance to get two at the line. You really don't like to see this kid shooting free throws in this situation, Mike. A miss here can be a big boost for the other side. Two, comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. His second attempt is off. The Huskies down by three with the ball. They get it down low. And if he keeps this up, he'll have a dozen before you know it. That's a very talented kid. And he's fun to play with because he finds you when you're open. One sinks it and now Number has one. 15 this half. He has been a scoring machine all night tonight. Five with nine assists right now. Could have ten after this trip. That's really good awareness there on the wing. He squared up and fired off a perfect three. Nice form. The defense has to be better than that. You can't give up wide open looks. Not like that. Uh, well, not unless you want to take the ball out of the basket. Two passes it in, throws it back. Tie game here tonight. 33 rebounds the ball. Definitely a play for the defense to celebrate. He just smothered the shooter. No way was that shot going in without help from above. That's just a bad shot. I mean, you've got to take a better shot than that, and the coach is going to be really upset. He's going to let his player hear about that one, and it's going to be loud. The defense just outplayed themselves right there and got rewarded with the miss. With the shot, three, about 11 feet away, can't hit. This team has really done a nice job rebounding on both ends. They're not only getting position, but they're pursuing the ball relentlessly. That's what they need to do to try to control the momentum of this game. Keep grabbing big rebounds. up to Jay. Four. With the rebound, he's increased his total to eight. Two-point differential between these clubs. Three. On the assist on that Number one. 12. Nice job. Jay, they're playing him very loose out there. They don't seem to respect that shot. No, they're sticking with the scouting report on this kid, Mike. They want to recover late to his shot because he's not a proficient outside shooter, but today he's having a miraculous day knocking those shots down. This kid has been doing a terrific job. It's fun to watch a guy having a great day. Well, he's having a ball, that's for sure. The Yellow Jackets bring it to court with a two-point lead. Two Number slams two. down the oop. A 
11. Triggers it in. The Huskies take the ball up. Down four points right now. Five up top with the ball. The ball passed in deep. 21 now has a dozen boards in the game. Number three. Big bucket there, yet another second chance basket. Mike, when you're not shooting the ball well, offensive rebound opportunities can really bail you out. These are huge. It's hard to quantify what a difference these kind of high percentage shots are making for this team. 21 didn't throw that one down and misses the alley-oop. Two-point differential between these clubs. One misses the jump shot. Five is just one basket away from a double-double. The kid has been terrific all night. What a performance. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets bring it up court with a two-point lead. One bricks an open shot. The Connecticut Huskies could tie up the game with a score this trip. Five clanked it off the right side. Mike, rebounding is all about effort, and this kid showed great effort on that rebound in a really tight game late in the ballgame. They pass it inside. 12 misses his shot, hit the rim. The Connecticut Huskies have possession, two down. 21 misses that one, clanked off the left side. Two point differential between these clubs. Boy, what a beautiful pass. And coaches are very grateful when they have a kid who can pass like that. And these two kids did a great job of setting up the defense and putting it in a position to break down. That's outstanding. 21 puts the ball in play. Five is just one basket away from a double-double. The kid has been terrific all night. What a performance. The Yellow Jackets have a four-point edge as the clock is becoming a factor. Jay, what do you see? Mike, as this game winds down to a close, you've got to give credit for this huge lead to this team's starters because their bench did not perform up to the level they expected and certainly not to the level of their opponents. Unless they bring their ball apart, they're going to win this ball game, and they can thank their starting five for doing it. The Jackets have timeout. 11 will leave the floor. With it out top. Throws it back. They drop it into the low post. Four scores his eighth Number point four. of the half. Mike, that's a great play by this young man. He really stepped it up to outsmart the defense. And the defense did a very nice job there. Oh, good basket there. We've got a close one. And, Mike, this is the kind of game that's going to go down to the wire, and that's where these kids can really make big plays. Two-point differential between these clubs. Boy, Mike, that's really impressive. He gets the two-pointer to go, and he'll get to the free throw line. Jay, that's great concentration. He's got a chance for a three-point play. Boy, that can be a big play in this type of game. 22 heads to the bench. He completes the three-point play. The Huskies are back five on the scoreboard. Takes the shot. 32, couldn't dial that one in, not enough to get it over the rim. A minute 56 remaining. One puts up the tray. Good shot Number with the one. jumper there. And Jay, look at the assist. He really passed it perfectly, and the shooter took great advantage of it, being ready to shoot as the ball arrived. Three with the inbound. The differential is eight. He fires. And that call responded to the contact on the shot. Good call there. He'll shoot two.
misses the second free throw. The Jackets have the ball, and it's a seven-point lead. For two, three, too hard on that shot. It went long. The ball goes inside. Nice offensive board. These kids are really attacking the glass. They just won't be blocked out. 55 has it up top. Shoots. 55. Number three. He'll be credited with the assist, his fifth. Time is winding down, and unless you believe in miracles, this one's just about over. No, I agree. With less than a minute to go and the huge deficit, they'll just play this one out. This is where the coach tries to use the game situation to try to teach his team something for a future ballgame. There's 43 seconds left. The ball inside now. Three comes back, decided there wasn't enough room. Trying to get it going inside. Now here's a kid that's given a spectacular performance, but it hasn't really shown up on the scoreboard. You can ignore the fact he's got a double-double, but without his contributions, they'd be in a much deeper hole right now. With the extra point at the line, he completes a three-point play. Three will pick up the person. That's his first foul of the game, but they're already in the bonus, so they got a chance at the line for the one-on-one. -on -one. He hits the first free throw. Free throw down and in. Looking at the numbers, it is obvious how free throws have helped this club tonight. Mike, they continue to get chances at the free throw line, and they're converting off those chances. What a great job of being aggressive, putting the ball on the floor, and putting the opponent in a position to foul. Crunch time now. Not a lot of time left on the clock. Under a minute, Jay. There's not a lot of time, Mike. They need a quick basket and then get a foul. They've got to stop this clock and make the other team march to the free throw line and hit big free throws. Four rips down another rebound. He's in double digits with ten. With the horn, this game is over. And the final score, 86.